Hi everybody, my name is Kyron Robinson with ProRank Business Solutions and I'm here today to talk about the importance of your participation in the 2015 through 2017 FHWA FTA DBE Goals and Methodology meetings that will be conducted by PennDOT beginning on April 3rd. These meetings are your opportunity to come out and learn exactly how PennDOT is calculating DBE goals for all heavy highway projects for both civil engineering and for the construction phases, um, as well as how PennDOT is calculating goals for the smaller uh, train stations and bus stations throughout Pennsylvania. This will be your opportunity to ask questions and to also give feedback and to give comments. So if you thought the goal was too low, even if you think the goal is too high, you want to come to this event and you want to articulate that to PennDOT. Because if you have a good reason or you have a sound logic to why you believe the goals are too low or too high, then PennDOT will actually quantify your statement into the actual methodology and the feedback that you're giving could actually affect the goal for Pennsylvania. So I hear a lot of people that complain about the DBE goals for Pennsylvania. Well, nobody is listening until you come to these events. These events only happen once every three years. So if you miss these events, you're going to have to wait another three years to get an opportunity for your voice to be heard to change the DBE goals in Pennsylvania. So this is very, very important. When you come to these events, the important thing to remember is exactly what you are commenting on, okay? Because these goals aren't applicable to all projects throughout the state. They're only applicable to PennDOT heavy highway construction projects and the smaller train and bus station projects throughout Pennsylvania. Um, PennDOT handles the DBE goal setting, of course, for itself. But it also handles DBE goal setting for what's considered smaller sub-recipients of FTA funding. Any smaller sub-recipient of FTA funding, for example, a train or bus station that receives less than $250,000 in funding directly from the Federal Transit Administration, um, any smaller transit authority in Pennsylvania will fall as a sub-recipient under PennDOT and PennDOT will be discussing the way that their goals are calculated at this event as well. So if you're a company that targets work directly with PennDOT or with any of those um, smaller trains or bus stations throughout Pennsylvania and you're interested in the DBE goals either from a sub or prime perspective you want to come to these events and you want to see exactly how these goals are calculated. There's going to be four events conducted for the state of Pennsylvania again beginning on April 3rd. The event on April 3rd will happen in Philadelphia. There's going to be an event on April 9th, which happens in Erie. There'll be an event on April 10th, which happens in Pittsburgh. And the final event will happen on April 16th in Harrisburg. If you want the exact logistics, the address, and all of the particulars, then you want to come to ProRankLLC.com. As soon as you get to ProRankLLC.com, and that's P R O. R-A-N-K-L-L-C dot com. You want to click on the fourth option, the fourth menu option, which is news. And once you click on the news option, you're going to scroll down to the second posting, 2015 through 2017 PennDOT DBE goals and methodology meetings it will be open to the public. Once you click on that link, you will see a listing of the logistics for all four events. And at the bottom of the page, you'll actually see two links to download the actual PDFs that will give you, again, the logistics and the times for the meetings. Okay, You'll also see the contact information for individuals who you can confirm these events with at the page. Now, again, these meetings are completely free and they are completely open to the public. You don't need to be a DBE. You don't need to be registered with PennDOT. You don't need to pay any money. But if you're interested, you are welcome to come. So please come out, give your feedback, and I think that it'll definitely be appreciated, and I think that you'll definitely learn something and be able to take something from this if you are interested in DBE methodology or how PennDOT uh, calculates its DBE goals. The most important thing to remember is that you know when you are voicing your opinion in these meetings, try to keep them relevant to PennDOT, okay? Um, these are not 
talking about DBE goals for the Department of General Services. You know, the Department of General Services doesn't have any DBE goals per se. Um, this is not talking about DBE goals for SEPTA. All right, SEPTA calculates their own goals because they get more than $250,000 a year from FTA. This is not talking about DBE goals for the Philadelphia International Airport. This is not talking about DBE goals for Pittsburgh International Airport. Those, again, are larger direct recipients that get their own funding from uh, FAA, and they calculate their own goals. This will be speaking specifically to PennDOT goals for construction and engineering of heavy highway contracts, as well as the smaller sub-recipients, the smaller train and bus stations, um, and how they calculate their goals. So please take the time to come out to these events, give your opinion, and I look forward to seeing you guys at these events. Please tune in to PR News for more events, more updates, and for more information to keep you tuned in with the DBE program throughout the country. Thanks a lot for your time. And again, I'm Kyron Robinson for ProRank Business Solutions. You have a great day.